a fair and reasonable reading of the judgment delivered by this court on august 24 2006 in special leave petition number 4957 of 2006 makes it evident that in fact this court did not record any finding that a concluded contract had come into existence between the present appellant and the respondent number 1 hearing this court noticed that on december 12 2005 the offer made by the appellant was accepted by the respondent number 1 hearing and the same was communicated to the appellant incorporating the relevant conditions for the sale it is nobody's case that those conditions which were stipulated were complied with by the appellant nor any such finding was recorded by this court what is relevant to notice is that in the operative part of the judgment this court observed that if the respondent number 3 herein makes the payment as promised within such time as might be granted by respondent number 1 and fulfills the conditions of sale that might be the end of the matter which means that at the time when the judgment was delivered this court proceeded on the footing that there was no concluded contract between the appellant and the respondent number 1 further what is relevant to notice is that it was stipulated by this court that if the appellant failed to do so it was always open to the respondent number 1 to take necessary steps to safeguard the interest which included inter alia the consideration of other offers made by the other parties such weighty observations would not have been made by this court if this court in the said matter had come to the conclusion that there was a concluded contract of sale between the appellant and the respondent number 1 para as this court has come to the conclusion that there was no concluded contract of sale of the mortgaged property in favor the appellant of by the respondent number 1 the question arises as to whether the right to redeem the mortgaged property conferred by section 60 of the transfer of property act upon the mortgager that is respondent number 3 can be exercised or not it is argued on behalf of the appellant that both the high court of bombay as well as this court in the previous round of litigation had found that upon continued default on the part of respondent number 3 in making payment of amount of loan its properties mortgaged with respondent number 1 were attached and possession thereof was taken over legally in an action under section 29 of the state financial corporation act 1951 the learned counsel for the appellant contended that the respondent number 3 had never sought to exercise its right to redeem the mortgaged property before action under section 29 of the state financial corporation act 1951 was taken or even thereafter till it lost up to this court on august 24 2006 when special leave petition number 4957 of 2006 was dismissed and therefore the exercise of right to redeem 
was not only malafide but also to defeat the judgment of this court. Oh.